Hey, Suvi. Hey, Izzy. <laughs> I'm, I'm so excited we're starting this thing together. I know, um, me too. Yeah, because so for those that don't know, Suvi is um, the person who writes the amazing articles every month for ballywithisabella.com, but she's also a dear, dear friend of mine, and we went to school together. We went to Vaganova together, and I guess we could, we'll talk about that another time about you know yeah. how it was. <laughs> We've been through a lot together. <laughs> yes, to put it mildly. Yeah. Um, but today we thought we'd talk about periods, all things periods, right? Like, you know, when they come or when they came for us and, you know, how we dealt with that as well as how the Vaganova dealt with it. Because I was actually pleasantly surprised with how they dealt with that. But when did yeah. you start your period, Suvi? <laughs> okay, so. Let's dive is... straight in. I was 25. 25 yeah that's yeah. late that's very late and I didn't start or it didn't start before I stopped dancing so right. I've never actually danced with or I've never been a dancer who has a, who has her period which is yeah. crazy except now I'm kind of returning to dance slowly so now yeah. things are different but yeah 25 see that's really interesting because I always was baffled by how, so I started my period when I was 18 and that only yeah, which happened. which is also late. That was all, yeah, that's also late because, you know, some people get it when they're 12. Yeah. <laughs> um, but that only happened for me because I was injured for like, uh, I had an ankle injury at, um, at one point for like six months. And so, right. yeah, and so it came in the summer holidays because I had put on a little bit of weight having not been yeah. up because I wasn't able to move. Um, but I always find it so interesting how like the Russian girls who, you know, were in our class and stuff, they were so thin, some of them also just yeah. really thin. They would get their period every month all the time. And I'd be like, yeah. how is that? How is that even possible for you? Like yeah. with, the amount of, <laughs> with the amount of exercise we're doing. Yeah. You know, I, I think it's so dependent on the individual. Some people are just naturally super thin and, and their hormones and their system is working. And then for other people, it's even like a small change in your diet and exercise can, can cause your kind of hormones to be in an imbalance and then your period cycle changes. Yeah, I think that's the case for yeah lo lots of things, not just periods. Yeah. You know, yeah. some people some people look at a piece of cake. <laughs> yeah, um, very true. Yeah, but like, how did you feel when you you know first started? What were, what was going on in your life at the at the time? Well, I mean, the crazy thing is that I felt always really proud of not having it because yeah. I. Which Why did you feel twisted, proud? I felt proud because I thought it meant that I was super thin. Right. And it, it meant that I was so thin that that not even my hormones are working. And so that in a twisted way I I felt like that was a good thing which it isn't. <laughs> yeah. It isn't. Your period is so important for your bone health and just overall healthy development and all that stuff. But, you know, when you're kind of in a twisted mindset, it's just kind of like a cycle that keeps feeding itself. Um, so, yeah, I stopped when I was 25. I took a break. And very similarly, like you, I, I gained some weight. And it then it, it started naturally. And at that point, I was kind of so far in recovering from... Yeah eating disorders and all that kind of mental stuff <laughs> yeah um that I I felt happy about it I was like okay this this means my body is recovering and it means I'm getting healthy and also mm. I felt like it was a sign of womanhood because yeah although I felt proud of not having it a tiny part of me was always like that means you're not really 
you're not really a woman. Your body isn't a woman, even though yeah. I am over 18. I am technically not a, a, child, a child anymore or a teenager yeah. anymore. So, so it was almost, it was kind of like a relief. I felt like, okay, now I can feel like a woman. <laughs> yeah. It's really interesting because, um, when I was at school, obviously I realized that my bone density was not good. Hence why, yeah. I mean, because of the whole period thing. And that's also why it led me to have probably, you know, issues like my back and stuff for later down the line. But I, um, I started to take um, pills to make my period happen. It was actually yeah. called uh, hormone replacement therapy. And it was yeah. like, it was, it's the pills that menopausal women take to like yeah. try to get more estrogen because I had a test once and I had um, on the test score, it was like zero, you've got zero estrogen. In, yeah in your body and I was like well that's not good <laughs> yeah but I was like you and similar like yeah was sort of happy I was like great I don't have to deal with this every month <laughs> yeah. no 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 period cramps no dealing with yeah. tampons you know yeah. nothing just so I can forget about it but then yeah. yeah but then obviously it was actually when I stopped taking the tablets and I returned to London le later to get my period back naturally because obviously once you take pills like that it, it sort of messes things up even more and so yeah. when i went back to london um it took four years for, for my period to come back naturally crazy. Yeah. yeah i know and obviously your body yeah. did you find um uh, when your period started because obviously that's really late yeah did you did you find your body responded in any way? Like, did you change shape or anything, you know? Yeah, I, I think, I think I, I feel like I gained weight in sort of more like my, my hips. Yeah. And stuff, but, but I didn't notice any, any drastic, drastic change. Um, or maybe it was just that I was more acceptive of it. Is that a word? Is acceptive a word? I don't know, darling. I should, I should know. I, <laughs> I mean, I should know as well. It's English. Uh, <laughs> I, think I think it is. I think it is. I think it is. But we're talking early yeah. in the morning and my brain's not switched yeah. on. <laughs> yeah. I mean, it's 10 o'clock here, so I, I, I have no excuse. But yeah. um, let's say it's a word. Um, <laughs> but yeah, I think it was, it's also that I, at that time I I was really making an effort not to scrutinize my body so much so I was really trying to not analyze it so much so I think um I was probably not as kind of um I wasn't really so aware of what was happening I was really really trying to to put the focus away from what was happening in my body because it was it was difficult uh, gaining weight and and seeing how my body is changing and I, I was really afraid that that would kind of make me anxious and that would be a setback and I would go back to kind of restricting and all that yeah so yeah but I, I mean I felt changes in my how I you know my my mood and and just I felt you know that what well, you get with periods when you feel heavy yeah. and you, you know tired and all that kind of yeah. stuff. So, yeah, yeah, for sure, for sure. Um, it's funny though. I feel like when when you have your period and you're exercising a lot, yeah. um, it sort of helps it in a way stay under control. Whereas when you're like, I don't know about you, but yeah. when you're not when you're not exercising a lot, if it, it it gets much more well for me, much heavier and much much more painful. <laughs> yeah. So you know, exercise does actually help. But let's let's yeah. talk about um how they actually dealt with it at Vaganova because obviously, yeah. obviously, I didn't have to deal with this at all. But yeah. I almost. I almost wanted to you to pretend I had it be because of the benefits. Oh, me too. Me too. <laughs> because of the I, benefits that yeah. that would happen when you have your period. So, Suvi, why don't you share with the world what they would what they would do? So, when you have your period in Vaganova, you get to sit down 
And for how many that. days? For how many days, Subi? Three? Four? Three days. Three, three <laughs> days you get to sit and watch class. For three now, days? I'm not going to lie. I thought times, about it. <laughs> I really thought I would say, you know what? That time of the month, I got to sit down. <laughs> I gotta sit down. <laughs> I gotta sit down. <laughs> I gotta sit this one out, babe. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you see an exercise and you're like, you know what? Oh, you nah. know what? <laughs> you know what? I gotta put my shorts on. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah. But I never would use wear hard. No, yeah. I'm surprised we never did. I think I think yeah. the the sort of the drilled guilt of taking the time I off. I think so. Yeah, it was too for no actual reason. No, the, yeah, it was too yeah. yeah drilled in. I would have felt so terrible if I, I know. took a I day think off. we would have. I think we would have beat ourselves up for at least massively. Mu- massively, a month. we would have been like, "Why did I do that? Why?" <laughs> <laughs> yeah, because the next day she probably would have been extra hard on us anyway. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Um, but yeah, the girls often, what happens is you get to wear shorts, so you don't have to wear a skirt or anything. Um, yeah. yeah, you get to wear shorts and you can wear that for a week sometimes if you want. And, but it's kind of funny. It's like everybody knows who's on their period because they're wearing shorts. Yeah. So it's like, True. there's no, there's no hiding it if, you know. But, but I, I think, also think, I think that's a good thing because you should it's a natural normal thing that happens and you shouldn't have to hide it and i think it's Mm. great that it's not like a taboo it's like oh no it's it's happening now i have to hide it so that nobody sees i think it's i i actually i i agree with you i was really really pleasantly surprised how it was handled there yeah i was um yeah i was really surprised they were allowed to sit out and you know i I take the reasons behind that as, you know, they know it's not healthy to do such extreme exercise in the first few days of your period because you feel much heavier um, yeah. and things like that. And that was that was really, really great. And I was just like, wow. However, you know, having said that, they're good at that, but then they're not good at like letting you drink any water. So it's kind of- Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So they're good at some things and they're not so good at other things. Um, yeah. Yeah, but that was really good. But then I, I think that sort of goes out the window a little bit, say, when you're performing, for example. So like, right. you know, I always think about this, though, because I always think, what if you're scheduled to do Odette, right? Yeah. Odette, Odette to Swan Lake in your, in your shows. And it it the day falls upon the heaviest day of your period when you're feeling really awful you know yeah well i think i think at least this is what i've heard from um a lot of like mm, gymnasts and yeah. and figure skaters that they they have their gynecologist and you can get like um a pill that you use it just temporarily it's not something you yeah. can use every month uh, that you can kind of move your period for one week after, or ah, uh, so like that. yeah, is that the is that the contraceptive pill? I think so. I'm not sure. Because when say, when sure. you yeah, because when you take the contraceptive pill, that's um, that gives that's you freedom. That is the same. It gives you freedom. So basically, you're supposed to yeah. take it for like for like three weeks and then off a week, and one that's week when your period yeah. would happen. But you can just keep taking it so it doesn't yeah. start until, yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah. There are pros and cons to that too, obviously. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, disclaimer, talk to your doctors about all this stuff. <laughs> like, <laughs> yeah, 100%. Yeah. 100%. Um, yeah. I, was ne- I was never an advocate of the pill, just... Um, yeah, yeah. As natural as possible, I think, is the best best way yeah, to go about too. it. Um, yeah. But yeah, um, it is fascinating. I think the the thing with periods is um, really looking after your body. And mm-hmm. we went a bit into this at school, actually, because um, my friend uh, Keenan was there at, at one point. You never met Keenan, did you? I didn't, no, but 
I yeah. feel like I've met her because yeah, she's <laughs> you talk so much about her. <laughs> yeah, but she, um, I looked up to her like a big sister, and then yeah. she was really thin as well, and she struggled with her period. So she started doing this thing called seed cycling, um, which oh. is like yeah. So she basically it obviously seeds are just like fat. So you basically have right. to take like, you should look it up at like, you know, seed cycling, everybody as well. It's quite interesting. Yeah. But basically it all chalks it down to if you have enough healthy fat in your diet, yeah, then, then your hormones are really able to, um, you know, be um, produced better. Um, because when, you know, you don't eat enough fat, especially as a woman, I think it's really hard for your hormones to to yeah you know produce and obviously when we were training and everything fat is like the enemy ah yeah but it but it's like <laughs> but it's not like you know you should have allowed yourself to have some healthy fats you know did you ever have yeah. any embarrassing embarrassing period situations um long pause well <laughs> I'm trying to think because it happened. It happened to me so late that I wasn't um, the kind of uh, yeah more vulnerable. 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 Yeah. Vulnerable. <laughs> Sorry. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Most, um, had kind of passed because I wasn't dancing anymore professionally, and I wasn't in school anymore, and all that stuff. So we we, had, we we don't have a leotard, leotards and tight situation going on. Yeah, I didn't have yeah. that. But I know I know that that's a very big concern for many, especially yeah. young girls, and it's very worrying. And it's like, a, oh no, how do I deal with this? Type of I, thing. Yeah, I mean, I think it's it's a little intimate to talk about, but I think um, a lot of girls struggle even with you know um, using a tampon. Um, yeah. when they first get their period and obviously for ballet, especially, um, I think that's kind of, you know, quite critical. I mean, I've had, yeah. I've had students who still wear pads and I'm like, I don't know how you're doing that. Yeah. <laughs> like that's yeah. super uncomfortable. There's, you know. Yeah. Um, and it just doesn't give the same amount of kind of freedom. Um, yeah. Yeah. And with it, yeah. with a tampon as well, you could, like, you know. Um, you can just forget about it and carry yeah. on and you can pretend yeah. you don't have your period basically. Yeah. Um, yeah, I think it's vital. Um, but anyway, we're not sponsored by Tampax. Um, <laughs> <laughs> here's where I, what's it Use code BWI, <laughs> BWI tampons. <laughs> no, that's not. <laughs> But yeah, someday, someday will be <laughs> someday. <laughs> yeah, I, I mean, I was really scared the first time as well. I was like, <laughs> no, actually, no, actually, I was terrified as well. I think I was um, screaming, screaming in the bathroom. My mum was outside being like, Are you okay? How's it going? How's it going? Are you okay in there? I was like, oh, I, was like, I can't god. do it. Oh my god! Yeah, it's. Yeah, I think it's really important to have someone who you trust, who you can like. Yeah. Uh, ask for. I think it's the same for all girls. Support. I think it's the same yeah. for all girls. Like I remember, yeah, um, sure. I remember. Yeah, I have. I've had cousins where you know, the sister would be in there with the other sister yeah. trying trying to help, you know, because yeah. it's so traumatizing. If it's yeah, if it's any consolation, it gets easier. Oh, much at easier. Some point, at some point, it's like... Second nature. Yeah. Yeah. So. Off you go. Yeah. Off you go. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Off you go. And but thank yeah, God I for think... them. Yeah. We've talked about tampons a lot. <laughs> <laughs> ah, they're great things. They're great things. Thank you for whoever uh, invented them. <laughs> oh gosh, yeah. No, uh, but yeah, if I mean, I think it's a real concern for for 
many young girls how to deal with that. And I'm, yeah, hopefully, you know, you have a teacher, a ballet teacher who you feel you can go up talk to, to and yeah. talk to and then and ask, like, is it okay if I wear shorts? Is it okay if I sit down today? Uh, yeah, you know, I mean, ask, they're, they're, ask for help. And, yeah. Yeah. And then most of the time they're going to be a, a female. And so it's, they're going to get it. Yeah. They'll be like, yeah, no problem. I mean, if it's a male teacher, that's a little bit more. Um, yeah complicated True. but I think I think you should still be able to ask because you know they know everything about women as well like they'll get yeah. it so, yeah yeah you know, don't be afraid to ask it's completely natural it's not embarrassing it's literally yeah. what we have to deal with every month you know yeah um part of being uh, a lady exactly did you but just lose your airpod I did use lose my airpod but I popped it back in <laughs> 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 yeah I have um <laughs> but Suvi um thank you so much for chatting with me today I think we've of rounded course. up a little bit about periods and asked and answered sorry the um yeah. question that a lot of people have asked which is you know how does Vaganova deal with it and the short yeah. answer is surprisingly well surprisingly, surprisingly well, well. Yeah. yeah I've been very pleasantly surprised with Vaganova and annoyed at myself for not utilizing those three I know, three days off what was wrong with us <laughs> I don't know why didn't we just team up and just be like do you want to do this every should month? we do this do should know? we do this together <laughs> do you know do you know that scene from the office when um Dwight goes do you want to form an alliance with me yeah, yeah. <laughs> we should have done that <laughs> yeah why didn't the we do that the period party yeah yeah i don't given, know giving each other a wink we're like today's, today's the day she's today's doing caprioles today. today's the day <laughs> she's in a bad mood today <laughs> she's in a super bad mood today she's been smoking a lot in between exercises <laughs> we'll have to do a whole nother episode on that on the oh, teacher yeah. the, the oh, glorious God. teacher yeah. herself like... tag her down oh, yeah. below yeah. yeah anyway but <laughs> so guys comment down below um, yes well actually what can i ask <laughs> have oh, you got about... any embarrassing oh, period embarrassing stories stories how how do you how does your school or your teachers deal with it that's do you true feel yeah like supported or do you feel like you are you have to feel embarrassed or something yeah that's always good to hear how other people are dealing with it yeah and if you've got any questions or concerns or you need advice, just ask us and we will we will happily answer Suvi as well. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Definitely. All right, guys. Thank you, Suvi. We shall see you very Thank shortly. You. This is a new very a new short. series for us. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. <laughs> Should we finish with a traditional shoulder roll? Oh yeah. We'll just end with this every time. <laughs> okay. All right, bye guys. All right. Bye. 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 <laughs> bye. <laughs>